I'm going to go ahead and shut the grinding wheels off for a minute. Oh, here's your headstock, by the way. This comes on and off with the starting of the cycle with the main lever. The speed of it is controlled over here. There's a potentiometer for that. And this is a, a Morse taper number five in the spindle itself. And right here is a reduction sleeve, uh, probably to a Morse taper number three. So this is a sleeve that goes from a five to three. The tailstock itself is a number three Morse taper. Now this grinding machine here, this takes a 10 inch wheel on the, on the face grinding side and a 16 inch wheel on the, on the normal external grinding side. This is currently just a 14 inch wheel. It's got some clamps up on the top here that once we loosen these clamps, we can spin this head around. This wheel now can become a face grinding wheel. Also, when we go all the way around, we have our internal grinder here, the ID spindle. I'll start that for you. There is a spindle mounted under here for ID grinding. This machine has factory riser blocks. Uh, has an additional 50 millimeters of height. You'd have to check the specs on our website. I'm not sure what they are, but this has an additional 50 millimeters of height. Now this actually has uh, detents where when you swing this head around for the ID, it'll lock into a, to a, a keyed position as well as, as, well as in this uh, face grinding position and as well as in your regular grinding position here. You want to make sure these grinding wheels are off before you start trying to turn this thing or someone can get hurt. Okay. This is a drawbar back here. If you had a chuck that you wanted to put on here or something requiring a drawbar, this is your, your drawbar. And of course, the Kellenberger has the option of this head going up and down. That's what this hand wheel on top is for. Uh, there's a clamp on the base here that you have to loosen and unloosen. And then as you Turn this hand wheel, you'll see uh, that we start to come up here. Not much of a reason to use this. Uh, most people don't use it. Uh, what it's used for is you can actually turn this head sideways, turn this cover uh, 90 degrees, and use this wheel here <clears throat> as some form of a surface grinder. So that's, there you have it. I'm going to put this back down. Then you lock this in place. Lock this clamp here, and this will hear that click. It just it just dropped into its its key position. You clamp these two levers on levers on the top, and then you're ready to go. Uh, thank you. That's that's it for today.